Hi, I'm Matthew from Bean Machines. I'm here today to review the Melita Bar Cube. So the Bar Cube uh, is by a company called Melita, surprise, and it is a very high-end, uh, but yet yeah, in the 150 or under uh, per day market. Um, so it's coming up against machines like the, the Presto 1500S, as it's now called, uh, by WMF, Frankie Pura. Uh, and a lot of other machines. If you want to quote on all of these and how they compare against each other, please do contact uh, one of our guys, all the ladies who will be happy to help. Um, so, uh, very quickly, um, the Melita, um, very good quality machine in terms of where it sits. Um, so obviously we've got this, uh, this uh, that will reduce the height, the drop height of your coffee. So if you're doing espressos, for example, or, um, bowl shaped cups, uh, if you switch into takeaway or taller cups, um, you can move that out of the way. Uh, the brewing unit on this is metal, totally metal brewing unit, uh, which in its category is more or less the only machine with that. There is one or two more, but it is very rare for them to have it at this lower capacity end. Uh, metal brewing unit conducts heat better, better espresso than obviously plastic. Um, other things that this machine has got, it can obviously put chocolate in, so we've got the ability for two hoppers, this is a single hopper version on the, on the top, we can have a two hopper version, um, which will in essence give you the ability for decaf or a coffee of the season and so on, and a house blend. Um, this will actually do both dark and white chocolate, so you can do mochas, hot chocolates, white chocolate mochas, white hot chocolates, um, moving on to selections, eight selections, but then you've got a page function which moves to the right and moves to the left. Uh, advantage of that is we can have more and more options. So some of the machines, they'll only have set amounts of buttons on there, disastrous. You want to do regular and large and you want six options, you need 12 buttons or 12 button selections. You want to do small, regular, large and you've only got 12 buttons, then you can only have four selections of drinks because they'll be multiplied by three, giving you 12. So this is a really important consideration which a lot of people overlook. So the Melita will have pages, you can scroll to the right, the left. Really easy for your staff as well, it could have small page, regular page, large page, and again it just changes each time. You might even want a page from a chocolate based drinks, or white chocolate based drinks. Maybe from a bar I want to have the drinks but leave a shot in the top to do the cure coffees. So really this is, you know, you can literally have everything you'd have on the most elaborate menu on one of these machines. Okay, it has a powerful boiler that drives the steam through the machine. A very important on the Venturi method. If you've got a heating block or something like that, you're not getting the steam to the same uh, power. That's not going to give you a good quality milk foam. The heads on these are really easy to clean. Um, so you just literally take out the connection block, rinse it under the tap, and it will go through. Um, and basically clean it, clean it out very easily. But they you know, never tell anyone this. But they, they are difficult to block, unlike some machines where they, they do block up quite easily. There is a geared milk pump version of it. Unfortunately, you lose the chocolate when you go for a geared milk pump due to the mechanics inside the machine that that, that takes up. Um, geared milk pump will basically slow the milk up through the steaming process of the Venturi method. If the milk's in the steam for longer, it will get hotter and will also be broken apart into smaller bubbles. I'm oversimplifying it there, but that's the general principle and obviously vice versa as you traverse faster through the steaming section. Okay, so, uh, but you know, this machine, very good without even the gear milk pump because of the boiler fed steam, so you're getting that good quality on it anyway. Um, the grinders as well on this machine, again, high-end grinders, uh, which are basically, you know, the quality is maintained all the way through to get the drink. Yeah. Also worth noting the paintings on the uh, microfine sieve, which will get you more towards the espresso that's produced out of a traditional machine by grinding really finely, uh, but also there is all the considerations that that can, that can help you with. So it's worth giving us a call and we can go through that in more detail because it's quite, uh, it's too long to basically go through on this video. Um, so any other questions, please do contact us. I've uh, clicked a call uh, and we'll answer within about 40 seconds. Uh, or you can um, put a request in for us to call you and we'll call you back within a minute. Uh, thanks for listening.